we got really excited about it, and Amazon got really excited about it, and before you knew it, this many writers was this many, and then it was finally this many, and then they uh, said, we want, we want you guys to be the guys and to be our showrunners, and it was a life-changing moment. Hi, this is Sana Farzeen, and you're watching IndianExpress.com, and I have with me the showrunner of The Rings of Power, J.D. Payne. Welcome to Indian Express. Welcome to India. Thank you, Sana. It's great to be with you. I first want to ask you, like, what, how, why? I mean, how did the idea come about that you decided to make this mammoth of a show? Um, well, so Amazon bought the rights to the uh, three books and to The Hobbit and to the uh, appendices. Um, and, uh, you know, so then they went out to uh, a lot of writers in Hollywood and, and said, you know, who wants to offer a, a take? And uh, so we had a friend over at Amazon that we'd worked with before and, and uh, right. you know, we talked to him about it. And, and uh, you know, very quickly we um, yeah, came upon the idea of doing the second age. And uh, we got really excited about it, and Amazon got really excited about it, and before you knew it, this many writers was this many, and then it was finally this many, and then they uh, said, we want, we want you guys to be the guys and to be our showrunners, and it was a life-changing moment. <laughs> Absolutely. But tell me, JD, I mean, the critical acclaim, the box office numbers, has that, did it become a little pressurizing for you? Did that act as a pressure? Well, really, I mean, the biggest pressure is the pressure we feel on ourselves, <laughs> um, you know, like, and, yeah. uh, because this material means so much to us. It's not just another book. It's not just another script. Um, you know, this is, um, this material is sacred. I mean, you know, it makes its way into, you know, when I have friends or family members that die, like I've quoted Tolkien in eulogies, you know, like my son's birth announcement went out in, in uh, English and Elvish, wow. um, you, know, you know, so I mean, like, this is part of the fiber of my life. Yeah. And so the pressure to uh, really capture that special spirit of Middle Earth and to be true to Tolkien right. um, was immense just internally and, and um, for both Patrick and I. Yeah. So tell me, uh, because when we see the trailer, there is a, the aesthetics, the feel, the vibe is very similar to the Peter Jackson trilogy. Because you've loved the series so much, you've loved the movie so much, was that the idea to keep it really close to the original? Well, you know, I mean, I think we, we were the beneficiaries of a lot of experience there. We had a, a lot of our Kiwi crew had worked on those films. And so, you know, a lot of um, the things that they had learned from that, you know, obviously we were able to learn from as well. Yeah. But I think, you know, we also came to this and, and our watch room was different but familiar. Um, you know, we, we didn't want to just do a nostalgia play or, you know, sort of a, a reboot or a remake or a right. rehash. Uh, we wanted to do something that could stand on its own two legs. Yeah. But uh, how was it to actually compress so much of thousands of years of history to a series? I mean, tell us about that experience. Very challenging, because we knew going in that if we were going to do the Second yeah. Age, um, you, either you would have human characters who were dying off all the time, yeah. you know, or you had to compress some things. And so we spoke with the estate about that very early on and got the blessing of the estate. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, 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 Simon Tolkien, J.R.R. R. Grandson, Tolkien's grandson, um, was very involved in this from the yeah. beginning, and, and um, also a bunch of Tolkien experts across the world. And so once we got their blessing, you know, we felt like this is something that, something that you know, we, were, that we could do uh, feeling pretty good about it. Right. A friend has asked me to ask you, how different would be the second world from the third, and will there be more dragons in it? So the second age is a little more primordial than yeah. the third one. It's, it's sort of closer to the dawn of creation. Um, and uh, also in the, the third age is almost like post-apocalyptic Middle Earth. Okay. Um, you know, where, the, you know, a lot of the big things have sort of already happened. And, you know, the, the dwarves, you know, Casa Doom is kind of a tomb. Yeah. The elves already kind of have one foot out the door. And, and um, uh, you know, but this is a time, and, and Numenor is, is, is long gone. And, and, you know, there's only pale vestiges left in Minas Tirith. This is the height of, you know, <laughs> Numenor was, you know, like in full swing. Casa Doom was you know, a vibrant place, yeah. uh, people with dwarves. And, um, you know, the, the elves were in the, the height of their power at Linden. So really it's a Middle Earth that is just alive and vibrant wow. and rich with, with different cultures uh, and creatures. <laughs> <laughs> that, and that's all I'll say about the kind of creatures. <laughs> and Jerry, I mean, tell us about your first memories of the Lord of the Rings. How did it impact you as a creator, as a filmmaker? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, um, you know, so um, I... Uh, first saw the films in my college dorm room, uh, you know, because I'd been out of the country when yeah. uh, Fellowship came out, and, and uh, I watched uh, Fellowship on a laptop at, at Yale, and, uh, you know, was, was instantly engrossed with it, and um, it was one of those films that, bore, that made me want to watch it over and over again, you know, and very few movies that have come out in the last couple of decades, we, I'll watch them once, I'll watch them twice, right. I'll enjoy them, you know, maybe I'll pop it on again, but this I've seen dozens of times, um, and uh, it became incredibly influential to me uh, in terms of the, 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 the kind of feeling that one can... Uh, it's like I didn't know movies could make you feel that way you know, yeah. that were made modern, that made so recently. Um, but but uh, can't overstate how much I love them. And since you're already, of course, uh, prepping up for the second season, any plans of casting a Indian actor? You will need to wait and see. But I I, <laughs> I will uh, I'll say maybe. And also, there's a rumor that Gandalf will be part of the show. Anything that you can spill on that? Um, 
I could I could say that we uh, we certainly uh, love wizards in, in, in Middle Earth and Middle and wizards are are one of a very important part of Middle Earth and you know who various characters you know end up being I think yeah. people again just have to wait Amazing. and see. Of course, JD, we're running short of time. Just the last question: If you could forge the ring for yourself, the ring of power, what power would you want? Like which of the ring? Like you know, because each of them have various. I mean, so like you yes, know, the, the, el one, the el yeah. so the elven rings, you know, uh, they can conceal you from evil. They are, they're, you know, I mean, one of the elven rings is uh, has the power of healing. Yeah. Um, and I love that. I, I love the, the idea that you could have something that could like focus, you know, your your powers as a, as a healer. Because yeah, right. there's there's so much pain both. Uh, physical and emotional in this world that if you know I yeah. had the power to um, you have a ring that you could touch someone and and help them to heal from either of those things then that would be pretty special. Just a final message to your Indian fans who are eagerly waiting to watch the show and if you want I can help you in Hindi. Please. Um, <laughs> what would you want to see? <laughs> um, let's see uh, well the the <laughs> The, the only uh, Indian I know is, uh, is Shukriya. Uh, for, for, <laughs> That's a very so good So I'll say Shukriya for, for, uh, for watching. Um, and um, we are so excited for, uh, let's see, if I may say something in Hindi, I want it to be short. So um, <laughs> I'll say, um, we can't wait to share Middle Earth with you. Hum be sabri se. Hum be sabri se. Be sabri se. Okay, be sabri se. Aapko. Aapko. Yesho. Yesho. Dikhana. Dikhana. Chate hai. Chateha. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. Thank you Jay. so much. This is so much fun. Really appreciate it.